Hello guys, what's going on? So today is November 30th, 2010. So tomorrow we're going to be pulling out the H. Macalata sack. Oh boy, though I can't wait for that to happen. And uh, we have some updates on the um, mature male. So I did go to Tarantula Canada to pick up uh, the six new additions. Um, we saw uh, Gene, the Nandu tripepi male. It's doing very well in their care. Uh, hasn't really mated with a female because uh, the females are totally unreceptive. Uh, as you know, John, that's my mature male P. fasciata that I loaned them quite a while ago, has mated with one of their females successfully and she, he survived. So, And then also saw their cute little baby boys, Anton and Lucian, and oh boy oh boy, they're adorable to watch. Um, nice to see them. Anywho, so uh, let's get started. I guess we'll do uh, Justin's tees first, and then we'll go to TC's ones. Okay, so here is the Vicularia Metallica, uh, the metallic white toe. Uh, that was the replacement uh, for the uh, fasciata that died. Okay, so this is a, um, looks to be a forage female. I just hope she's alive. So if you note, they have metallic white hairs around the legs. That's how you tell us it's an A. Metallica. If you have the normal Avic Avic, uh, it doesn't have these hairs. So that's one of the big differences that you can tell. So let's see if she's alive or not. Yeah, she seems to be very, very friendly. Uh, so anyway, so here's the Metallica. I don't think it looks very lively, so um, I think maybe she had a hard experience during the travel. So what I'll do there is I'll leave her see how well she walks. And if she does, I know she's alive. Second tea from Justin. Um, People have asked me to buy this one, and I actually wanted to buy this now that I have a mate for Pamphobetus Patiama, the Pink Bloom Bird Eater. So this is an 8-inch female. And I, want, and I bought it so you guys can appreciate the genus Pamphobetus. So you can see how well, uh, you can see the sexual dimorphism of the species. So this is an 8 inch female, I haven't decided who to name, what to name her, but oh my god, it's a big one. And a very huge carapace, I think I'm going to give her a 5 gallon tank. I'll say she's a good buy. So I don't have a cage prepared yet, I'll have to prepare one. Cool. Now let's check the B albiceps. There's a little beauty. It's kind of like a rose gray color going on. Let's see how well he is. Whoa. Nice specimen. I would say this is close to around five inches. Sweet. Now check out what I got from TC. All right, so next video I'll uh, do a rehouse video of these two. I got some three 48-hour heat packs, so I can send my Teocrity mail, uh, my P Metallica mail, and I think 1991 Crunk Monk uh, asked me to uh, sell them some uh, T. Gigaslings, so tell me when you're ready to sell them for, for to buy some. Okay, so here is uh, the Blue Fang, Philippus uh, Cyanathus. Yeah, it's about half an inch. This one is missing one leg, but I don't think that should deter it. Oh, my very own Blue Fang. Sweet. 
Here's something uh, that you don't see every day on YouTube. It's actually a little bigger one. This is a Nephopus uh, rufsens, Burgundy Goliath bird eater. <laughs> Burgundy skeleton, that's it. Yeah, these grow up to around a four and a half inch leg span, just like the Udamin and the Blue Fang. Well, congratulations, John. You actually completed one genus, the Nephopus genus. Have all of them now. Have the Moranus. The Udaman now have a Rufescens and the Sionomathus. And very hard to believe, I actually found this on sale and I couldn't refuse to get it. A lot of people asked me to own one. And here it is, Canthoscuria geniculata. Even though I have a Brocklehursty, the reason why I bought it was to do some videos of the differences between a geniculata and a Brocklehursty. So this is a two inch specimen. I don't know what the sex of it is. Let's see how well he is. <laughs> Already kicking hairs. You'll notice that my Brockle Hursty has a little bit more red hairs on the uh, abdomen. But they're a great substitute to the geniculata if, not, if they're not available. These are the, one of the most common uh, members of the genus that are on sale. And it's pretty sweet. So that's my new additions. Hope you like them and uh, thanks for watching.